Chanderi has a special place in mythology. It is believed that Lord Krishna's cousin Shishupal founded Chanderi. And the weaving in Chanderi dates back to 2nd century. As names suggest, it's almost like first ray from moon. Chanderi is one of the most successful, most sought after craft. It's almost like coming from heart of India. Dying of yarn or dying of fabric was not really historically had been associated with Chanderi. Chanderi is known as Resha Meme Kakam where you have got silk warp and cotton as a weft. In post-industrial era, when dyeing took over with all the textiles, Chanderi adapted really beautifully with brightness of colour. It gives richness of silk, it gives sheen of silk, but at the same time fabric gives you comfort of cotton. During Mughal period, Chanderi was in its golden era. And I would say the new golden period is now. In my designs, I have tried to simplify the entire process of weaving in Chanderi, where Chanderi became far more user-friendly in terms of cutting and tailoring the outfits. And we could also reach to a wider audience which was not into saris and, and into traditional outfits. The result is a beautiful dress which is made of Chanderi. I think future for any craft is to do product diversification where you can create new product out of the same idea. I have won Vulma Prize, one of the biggest fashion awards on the planet. We have replaced cotton which is used in Chanderi with the finest merino wool from Australia. And the result was a 95% wool outfit which you can wear in extremely hot 50 degree um, like temperature. So actually the craft has achieved quite significant global footprint in some of the most luxurious uh, department stores and shops across the globe.